What's up guys, it's John Lino here, and this is going to be my Jade Guide, my favorite hero in Battle Right at the moment. I just really love everything about Jade, so let's talk about her. We're going to talk about, just to let you guys know what this video is going to be in contents for. This will, we're going to explain why you should play Jade and what's like the best things about her. We're also going to explain her battle rights and my choices behind those battle rights and we're going to give you gameplay tips on how to play in the field of the battle of rights. So, let's dig in. Jade is an elusive, badass, ranged assassin. Um, her strengths come with her mobility and snipe damage. Landing the snipe damage means the whole world. So if you're able to land that, you do plenty of damage, so if you're the type of person that likes that type of playstyle, then Jade's probably the champion for you. However, don't be fooled by the game telling you that she's beginner friendly because she is far from beginner friendly. Yes, she may be, you know, it's easy to understand what she's all about and understand her abilities, but mastering the champion is a different thing entirely. So, let's talk about the battle rights here and then explain to you in detail why I go for those. So. I've been playing Jade for a whole lot of time, so I've experimented with everything here, and let's just dive right in. For Tier 1, we definitely go Blast Vault. This will make us so that when you jump, you enter Stealth Mode, which is huge for Jade. Now keep in mind that after you do that, um, after you do jump, it leaves a smoke trail. You see that smoke trail when you jump? So they will know where you jump towards. Uh, so if you jump and then snipe immediately, your snipe can get cancelled in this very moment here as you're jumping and then sniping. So keep that in mind, you gotta watch out. So if you want to jump, you can move a little bit like this and then like hit somewhere, right? So be careful with that, be smart about it. This of course is not too bad, it's like you snipe and then you're able to enter stealth again and snipe again. I'm not a big fan of that, I feel like she's better at being elusive and mobile, I feel like that's her strength. And that's what you should focus on. The Zelling Shot rooting targets is for extremely hard matchups, but even then, I still feel like the elusiveness of jumping is better. So you can go for this. Uh, it roots targets when you hit them. So let's say Freya jumps on you, you can root her and then walk back and keep hitting or jump away from her. Right? You could do whatever you want in this situation. It's up to you. Both these two options are good for self peel. Jade is very good at self peel, and what I mean by that is that she's very good at escaping situations herself without necessarily having to rely on the support to help you escape situations. But yeah, regardless, Outlaw is the way to go for me. Now here comes tier two. You can choose between Desperado, Through the Shadows, or Concussion Bomb, and I definitely think Desperado is the way to go. So basically, you do 1, 2, 3, 4, E, and then, sorry, that guy didn't mean to die. So boom, E, and then unload 6 shots to the face. So 1, 2, 3, 4, silence, and then hit three, hit all the 6 shots through. I think this is probably the best tier 2 battle, right? I feel like these two are also okay. Stealth haste bonus. So whenever you go on stealth, you get more move speed. That's really whatever. Or if you do this, uh, the XQ, you also gain you know some movement speed. But it's not necessary. You don't need that. This, however, I see some J players, you know, high high level J players go for this, and it just makes up when you stun here. The stun lasts a bit longer. It can be seen as pretty good. These are maybe may good in harder matchups where you feel like you're not going to be able to land shots. Let's say they have counters and stuff and they're high elo and they know how to like predict when you're going to shoot. So that's completely up to you. Uh, depends on the matchup. This or this. But I still think the response is the way to go because it adds to your damage and just makes you that much more strong in combat. So I would definitely go for Desperado just to really get some shots in. Silence and then six shots on low to the face. Alright, tier 3, definitely deadly focus over these two. This one, basically, it disable if you disable like uh, a charged ability, let's say enemy jade is charging her snipe, you press E, right, that will cancel it, you get health back. Still don't think it's the best thing to, to go for on tier 3. Junk shot, so now if you press R, it knocks back further, extremely further, and knocks him on a wall, just like that. That's okay, but I still don't suggest it. This is good for, again, hard matchups where you feel like every second of the time you're up in somebody's face, like a croak, for example, this is good. If you feel like you're not going to be able to land many snipe shots this game, 
go for this. This is a decent option against Croak, against champions who will be up in your face the whole time. So Sirius, Croak, etc, etc. Freya, this is a good option. Snipe, however, is extremely strong because it does more damage. And this allows you to basically one-shot orb as well. So, right here. With this bow right, you can basically one, two, and then snipe. Or sorry, right, three, and then snipe right here. It's a 44 damage with your snipe. So you're able to just hit three shots and then snipe. And you're able to just one-shot it. Uh, this is with this bow right. If you don't have this bow right, you have to do it differently. You have to unload the whole four shots. So let me just show it show it here real quick. So without this, you go full load and then snipe. It does 38 damage, the snipe without this. So keep that in mind. You can also begin with a snipe first and then unload auto attacks if you want. But you can also just quickly do this. Like one, two, three, and then snipe with this battle right. That would just one shot orb. Tier four. Definitely recommend Slayer or Gunslinger. Mobility is good uh, for escaping. X, you get more mobility, right? This combined with this is also really good. So you get a lot of mobility, but I don't think it's worth going for. It's just too much. You don't need extra mobility. Jade is already extremely elusive to begin with. You don't need extra move speed. If you want to peel for yourself, this is good. Because every time you hit, it reduces the cooldown of stealth. So let me just show you an example here. Uh, remove this right here. So let's say I'm shooting. Okay, now I press Q. Now I'm shooting. Okay. Now just went off. So when you keep queuing, now got stealth back up. That's pretty good to have stealth up all the time. Just keep in mind it's by 0.35 seconds, so you have to land the basic attacks. Okay, so it's not too bad if you really need to stealth out of situations. And of course, finally, gun, uh, Slayer is definitely the way to go in most situations. This is really, really good because you do more damage to people who are less, you know, they have lower health. And that's good for, you know, the tier 4 at that late stage of the game where fights really start to matter. And finally, we have tier 5. Uh, inflict a snare with your ulti or channel explosive. You take 75% less damage. And I think that's better. Um, let's say you're in a desperate situation and you have to ulti right now at this exact time you have to ulti um like let's say a croaks up in your face right i could just hit him hit him and then f and then if he tries to jump me he will deal less damage to me so it can be you know you can do some clutch moves with this um you're able to survive so now that we've explained the battle rights let's show you just some quick gameplay tips uh like we said earlier the orb you three shot it and then snipe with the battle right of snipe this one right here, you will deal 6 bonus damage with Snipe. So that's how you one-shot Orb uh, once you have that. Uh, without it, you just use the whole 4 shots, four shots and then Snipe it and you, you get it. Keep in mind, I don't suggest jumping and then stealthing. Because at this point, you have no self-peel whatsoever. All you have is E and then all you have is auto attacks and maybe R, right? I wouldn't suggest just doing it for the sake of, oh, getting extra stealth. So let's say I jump, and then I stealth at the very last second, and then I can snipe again. They see that smoke that you stealth again. Um, I just don't recommend it because you lack peel after using both of those things. Also, I would highly recommend that you use the X stealth more often as Jade, because this will save you in a lot of situations. Croak jumps on you. Use that and then you can get away. It gives you more movement speed. Keep in mind that the move speed is increased by 100% uh, for, you know, it fades over 0.9 seconds. So that's huge to have that. Um, being able to escape situations just like this is just very, very nice. So you definitely want to use this X ability more. I would also recommend you bind your X abilities to number one and number two. This way you don't have to press shift and then Q or shift and then right click, for example. Just press one, done. Two, one, just like that. You can bind that in settings, so you can do that yourself. And you're able to, you know, more effectively use these X abilities. Um, another quick tip is after you jump, you have to try to move a little bit to, to a certain direction and then use right click because they can see the smoke trail when you jump so they will know you're here if they're good players they will know how to deal with a jade so you can jump and then move a bit like this and then you'll surprise them with a snipe shot 
right so you can do that um if you aren't you know if they don't if they were paying attention to someone else they're fighting your ally you can jump okay they're busy they don't see you and you can just snipe like that you can do that um try to understand how the enemy player plays if he's smart enough to play around that properly um don't be afraid to press r when someone's really close and you have no uh x stealth or if you have no jump if you, if you have neither of these just press r get them out of your face good way to escape situations and finally your ultimate um this is an ability that sometimes can be seen as well hard to land just keep in mind that you're even if i don't hit him like this see that 16 damage the 16 damage will apply because of the blast damage at the end of the bullet so but if you hit him directly it's 28 damage i would highly suggest you ulti when they don't have things to counter so i really would suggest you take your time to read all the abilities of the heroes to understand when to shoot and when not to shoot if you're against a serious he just walked up in front of you don't auto attack him because chances are he's gonna try to counter and then go behind you so let's say you're shooting okay hey counter now you want to e behind you because that's what most serious players like to do they like to e behind you so as you're shooting like this so he doesn't hit you with that weaken i also would not suggest you to hit when you're weakened by certain cc abilities you don't want that Here's how you cancel snipe shot. So you press right click and then C. The letter, you know, the button C will stop any channeled abilities. So this includes your space as well. So you can like, you know, pretend you're jumping but you're not. So just like, but it, you don't have to do that because, you know, that's kind of silly. Uh, who's gonna fall for that, right? But snipe shots, you, they can definitely fall for it. So you can bait a very important ability, like let's say Rook's counter, which is pretty big counter against jade snipe right you do this and then cancel he countered now you're free to actually snipe him and he won't be able to do anything he can still use his jump his stun jump to avoid the shot so watch out for these abilities that can do that what's very important is you shouldn't be afraid when someone's up in your face in melee range if you have this bow right disabling shot uh you can just all without an attack and then silence and then keep hitting Let's say Croak just leaped here and he didn't land the space. Just silence and hit him, hit him, hit him. Like, don't be afraid. Don't just stealth out of the way immediately and not fight back. You're still Jade. You still deal good damage. So you can fight back against even melee champions. Just make sure you silence them and then hit them with six shots and then jump away or something. And try to snipe them maybe from a distance. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is you can also bait snipe shots. You can make them think... That you're attacking them but you're not you're attacking the other enemy team uh enemy team member so let's say this is a, two members here one guy here one guy here so i'm aiming at this guy but then oh, i changed and i shoot him now he's thinking i want to shoot him but my eyes are on him on this guy so i'm like this okay my eyes are on you i'm gonna hit you right so at the last second switch and then hit him like that that's not always easy to do by the way um you just have to be kind of practice just practice the snipe shot just like that look behind you and you're able to get a snipe shot without them you know having a chance to counter it because they think you're not gonna hit them right that's the thing um so yeah that comes in very handy in a lot of situations just needs practice it's really good against croak ulti let's say i did this he just ulted okay he's behind me now right because he just ulted and then i jump to avoid the blast damage of the ulti so that's how you play against croak ulti right you just snipe he snipe okay he's behind me now right because the croak ulti dashes through targets and he appears behind you afterwards so you can do this and then aim behind you as soon as he lands there uh, also uh, bulwarks anything like that snipe shot is very easy to avoid so you have to be smart about it and just be careful with using it because it can be used against you too um bulwark reflects it right so you'd have to watch out for that uh, most of the time you need to watch out for the bulwark it just reflects done you eat that damage right in the face uh older he does that as well so just be sure to use this x stealth as much as you can in a fight don't be afraid like oh well i need my ultimate to really make this game you know so we can win this game you don't need ulti to win with jade all the time uh sometimes it is better to just use this to reposition and then snipe the good thing about using this stealth is because it makes you move faster and allows you to reposition very quickly without them knowing where you are exactly uh, when you jump they can see the smoke trail so they know they have an idea where you are okay like this they see the smoke trail. they know okay jade is on the left side of the map 
right? But when you do this, all they see is this puff of smoke, but they don't know which direction you chose to run. So I can, like, go here, and then they think I'm going there, and then I snipe them from behind, right? So you can be a bit smart and clever with where you're moving. Uh, I think this is easily the best ability for Jade. Her stealth and her snipe are easily the best abilities, because you're able to just reposition and snipe. And of course, her E is incredibly important. Just be sure to use it to cancel channel abilities, things like that. Um, if you're in melee range of someone, you can, you know, auto, like I said, you auto attack, use all four shots, and then E, and then attack them with all the six shots. And if they get too close, jump away. It will also deal 12 damage if they're in melee range, and it will stun them. So, that is pretty much about it for Jade. Also, as a last quick tip, you can use your ulti, don't be afraid that you're not gonna hit them, it has pretty long range. If they're low, you can just snipe them here, like the damage of the blast will still apply. Uh, you don't have to land the shot exactly, so it's not like snipe, but snipe you have to land it exactly. Uh, you can even, you know, at start of the game when you first come in with your mount, you're just starting here, you rush in, you rush in, you can also quickly, you know, try to bait something here and then cancel, you bait a counter, things like that. So this is basically how you play Jade uh, 101. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. This is how I play Jade, and she is my favorite hero of all time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the Battle of Rights. Peace out.